assessing a music model. Um, that's the intent of the auditor and that will be uh, the job usually of, of someone sitting at council that we send a, a development application. There will be a, a stormwater management response within that within that application and then attached to that there will probably be a music model demonstrating that it complies with with those objectives that we just put up a moment ago. As an assessor, what do you need to do? Um, how does the music order to help that? How does it work? I'll take you through all of that. Um, but we'll also have a bit of a chat later on about what the music auditor doesn't do because it doesn't do anything. And one thing I'd be very keen to emphasize is that the assessor needs to be the person that does the assessment ultimately and decides whether that model is suitable. The auditor will help you to make that decision. It will check the parameters. It will pick up anything obvious out of range, but it is just a computer program. It's just a tool. Um, it can't do everything. Um, so you shouldn't rely on it um, in totality. So what, what do we need to do? We need to check that it's complying with the guidelines. We need to check that the layout and the inputs are consistent with the proposed design, that they're consistent with best practice approaches. There's nothing you know, obviously out of whack. You know, the catchment areas actually match what's on the on the catchment plans. The the catchments are draining to the correct stormwater treatments and, and they're in, in the right order, essentially. Secondly, or so thirdly, we check that it's realistic, that it's a reasonable representation of, of what we expect will actually be constructed. There's no point adopting you know, you know, guidelines or rules if, if they're different to what's actually going to be constructed. So we need to make sure we're representing what we expect to see on the ground. And finally, that the designer has taken the time to explain and justify what they're doing. If they're using certain parameters, have they explained where they've come from? Have they shown how they've arrived at their catchments, how they've arrived at their impervious fractions? Do the dimensions in the model match the dimensions that are on the plans? Or in some cases, if they're different, have they explained why they're using different parameters to, to more accurately represent what's going on? And there are times where that's necessary. The purpose of the music auditor is to go through and basically assess all of those input parameters to the model. And anyone that's spent a bit of time in music will know that you know there's 13 or 15 different parameters for each of the source nodes. There's anywhere between about four and about 24 different parameters for some of the treatments. So you can have very quickly a lot of parameters to wade through and check. The reality is that, that fully half of those will probably always be the defaults and people will never actually go and change them unless they really need to. Um, and there's quite a few which uh, should be within certain ranges. So there's a fair bit we can do in terms of quickly checking these parameters to try and make sure they're, they're what we expect and that if they're not what we expect, then we can flag those so that you can go and have a look at them. So the auditor will check that our parameters are within a given range. It'll check that they're, they're not less than a certain minimum, that they're not greater than a certain maximum, or it'll check that they are or are not equal to a certain value. Uh, it's intended as a quick screen. Um, the idea is it will then draw the attention of the assessor to those parameters that are, that are most important, that, that need your attention to have a look and have a bit of a think about. Um, but as I said before, ultimately the assessor has to make a, a call on whether, whether that's an acceptable variation or whether they come back and ask the, the proponent to modify their model to, to accord with the guidelines. <laughs>